Thanks for checking out this uh, BAMBOX unboxing video. And this is the BAMBOX for November uh, that I just got. Adult cartoon is the theme. Uh, before we get into this, I just wanted to say a few things about BAMBOX. Um, they do really cool things where they kind of let people know what's going on. They did a state of the BAMBOX uh, announcement recently where they were kind of updating on changes for things going forward because they legitimately listen to what people are saying about the box. They actually watch unboxing videos. I don't know if they've watched any of these, but they watch, they've said they watch some of the unboxing videos and they take feedback. One of the things they're going to be doing going forward, and I don't know if that pertains to this one, but I think it does. Um, they're going to be taking out what a lot of people uh, view as filler items. Uh, so some of the stuff that's like a little more knickknacky, less expensive, um, you know, like kind of throwaway items, some people say, but filler items, they're getting a rid of those. Um, and then they're also dropping the box price by $3 a month, which is very noble, which is very cool because there are plenty of uh, companies that would probably be like, all right, we'll drop those items and the price is the same. So it's nice that they're doing stuff like that and they're listening. The other thing is their upgrading system where they're doing like the one-up cards or whatever. I haven't gotten any... Um, but maybe that changes with this, we'll see. Um, but they're actually not doing the cards anymore or anything because they had like this color-coded system with the one-ups and people were saying it was really kind of like confusing. So they got rid of that. So they're like, we'll randomly drop some stuff in here and there. So same type of thing, they're gonna randomly drop in like cool extra stuff, but they're just not gonna have like a piece of paper on the top that lets people know ahead of time. You'll just find it and figure it out. So that's cool. Also, they've been getting pretty popular, so they're going to be having um, more partnerships coming up. They've had companies reaching out to them, celebrities reaching out to them saying, hey, we want to get involved with the Bambox. So the Bambox sounds like it's only going to get better. If you have not signed up, it's probably a really good time to do this because they limit how many boxes they do. I think they're doing like 2,500 or something right now. So now would be the time to get involved because it sounds like there's some really good stuff around the corner. Um, and they already announced their next two uh, so uh, the themes that is the the theme for December is going to be legends or legendary. I think it's legends, um, and there's some things that are involved with that that they already released. But I'm not going to say it here, so you can look at the Bambox website if you really want to know some of the themes that will be in there, like some of the items. Well, from what the items will be for, I didn't say that properly, but anyway. And then they went ahead and just released what the January is going to be since they're. A year old at that point they're going to do a year one uh, box for BAM box and it'll basically be a bunch of items that are riffs off of some of their favorite ones from the year in business so sounds really cool um, like I said this is the time probably to sign up but anyway let's get into this one this one is the uh, adult cartoon one like I said it does appear it's very very thin so it does appear that they have started with getting rid of that filler stuff so that's cool. I'm personally totally good with that. I don't need all those filler items. If you remember the last one, uh, we had like the, the Ash S-Smart um, pin, which I actually kind of like that. That's fine, although I could could have done without it. Um, and the Lament configuration uh, from Hellraiser, which was this really crappy made kind of Rubik's Cube thing that I definitely, I mean, I'll display it. It's okay, but the quality was so bad that I'm like, eh. So I'm fine with no filler. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, one, I had seen some people, I don't have really spoilers for this that, that got to me, but I had seen some people say um, they didn't really like this box. So I'm going to remain optimistic, plus everyone's got an opinion on something, you know, what someone's going to like, another person's going to hate. You don't know. So it is what it is. So here we go. I'm going to get into this um, paper on top. Oh, one of the things, I really want to get something Beavis and Butthead in this. I'm a fan of adult cartoons going all the way back to things like Beavis and Butthead. Like a Mike Judge signed Beavis and Butthead item would be phenomenal if it was in this. So, But I, I'm not holding out hope for that. I'm just saying that would make me like, oh my god. So let's see what the first item is. Oh, okay. Certificate of Authenticity on this. It's a Dynamite comic, um, and it is Betty Boop. Um not a, not at all a Betty Boop fan, so this one doesn't really excite me so much. Whatever. Um, it'll excite someone. This is a pretty old um, cartoon. 
I, I think going back all the way to the 60s or 50s, maybe. Like, going, going pretty far back. Uh, my cat's playing with the tissue paper if you hear crinkling. So, thanks, Bambox. That's a, that's a gift for her. <laughs> she likes it. Um, yeah, so it's it's signed by uh, Ken Heiser. Uh, yeah, which is the guy who did the artwork on the front of it. I mean, it's cool that they have it signed by the person who did the artwork, and it's cool that they have the, you know, certificate of authenticity with it, doing it right in that sense. Um, but, I mean, I'm not super excited about it, but someone might be, so that's fine. Next item. These are all flat items, pretty much, it feels like. Off the top. Oh, what is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is really... A weird but the artwork is cool uh, this is a weird thing um, it's like a metal plate and it has uh, artwork on it. it says crazy people are more fun and it's got um, Homer Simpson like freaking out on it I like the art style of that I think it looks very cool it's very like it's almost a little bit gonzo style like you would think with th that went along with like the illustrations with the book Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas uh, by Hunter S. Thompson, like that type of thing. Um, it's almost that type of style, which I do dig. That is cool. Now, I'm not a huge Simpsons fan. I know some people right now are like, oh, you like adult cartoons and you don't like Simpsons. That's ridiculous. It's not that I don't like it. It's that when I was young, um, uh, my parents were very strict about what I could and couldn't watch, so I was ne never able to watch The Simpsons. I probably would have watched it if I was allowed to and would love it at this point, but... That was the circumstance, so I never really got into The Simpsons. Um, maybe I will one day. I don't know. I just never never took the time to get into them. Um, there is, like, a little bit of, like, some kind of, like, crap on the back of this, which I don't really know what that is. If that's, like, tape or it actually looks kind of like some paint. But that's not a big deal because this will get hung up most likely. Um, I might not, but I might give it to someone as a gift because I know some people are real big Simpsons fans. But that's cool. Um, I really like the art style on that. The art style is very, very cool. So that's a really outside-of-the-box type thing, and I think it's it's interesting. Uh, next item. Uh, certificate of Authenticity. I'm assuming it's a piece of art. Oh, my God. This is a this is a cool piece of art. Um, it puts together two... Th one thing that I really, really like and one thing that I think if I watched it more, I would really like it because I've seen a few episodes... And I definitely liked what I saw, and I should watch more. Um, it's a mashup art print of Beavis and Butthead and Rick and Morty. Um, that's a good... Let's see if I can get, like, less glare. That's probably the best way. But you can see, like, let's see what's going on in there. It's pretty cool. That's cool. It's really well put together. Uh, it's number 405 out of 2,000, so... I guess they're only do, they only did 2,000 of these boxes. Um, that's cool, and it's signed by the person who did the art. Um, I'm sure it'll say in the box uh, on their little pamphlet who did it. Um, it's kind of like trippy, the way it's put together. It's very sci-fi trippy-ish with um, you know Rick and Morty and Beavis and Butthead in there. Um, that's fun. That's cool. I will hang that one up because that is fun and cool and interesting. And I think this might help me get more into... Uh, going after some more Rick and Morty to watch. So, all right, then the next item, which might be the last item, I don't know. Uh, looks like it's probably another piece of art. I don't know. Uh, it's not a piece of art. It's, huh? It's, <laughs> it's kind of odd. It's like a glossy, um, I'll have to see in the, in the booklet who signed this, but it's signed by... It looks like someone who's played Jessica Rabbit. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you can see the the signatures over here, like over the martini glass, which a pretty good spot for it. Actually, probably maybe more up here would be better, but that's fine. Um, it's a sexy photo. Um, I don't know who this person is. It looks like Christy Lone or Lump. I don't know. I'll, I'll just look it up. Um, that's interesting. I, th I think the picture looks very good. It's very, very vibrant. Um, hanging this up, if you like it, will look good in any room, I'm, I'm sure. But it's interesting. i got to figure out who that is. I appreciate that. That may be just that may be an extra because I know they say there's always like an autograph item in three. I got the comic book as autographed. I got the art prints autographed. And then the, this is autographed. So this might be an extra. 
Um, I may have gotten one of those like random extras. Okay, yeah, so that was it. Um, so I'm going to go through this and see what's what. This, and then inside they've got a lot of stuff. Look at all these cartoons, man. You got like some He-Man in there. You got um, some Spider-Man, some Incredible Hulk. You got a bunch of stuff down here. You got like Iron Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X-Men. So it's all like older cartoons. Not so much adult cartoons, but cartoons. That's cool. That's a cool inside. I like it. So just put that down. All right. So I want to go through this. So yes, the theme was adult cartoon, as we all know. Uh, Bandbox exclusive. Oh. It says that there should have been pins in here. Did I miss the pins? Were they in the... I don't, I don't think I got my pins. Oh, that's kind of... There's no pins. Um, I might have to contact them. Yeah, because you like always get pins. I don't think I got any pins in this. Well, that's really shitty. Unless this is only like an extra thing. Um, it, it's featured uh, reimagining of some of the South Park characters by artist Nick Kokoza. Oh, that would have been cool to get. I, I like South Park. Couldn't do South Park without bringing in Cartman and Chef. Uh, most will get oh, most will get one of these, but some will receive the Kenny pin, which also comes with Dead Kenny. Oh, okay. So I should have gotten a pin. Um, I did not get a pin, so that's a big fuck up. Um, where where are my pins? Uh, where's my one pin? That's actually that's actually pretty shitty too because uh, I loved the pins in the last one. And I was really looking forward to the pin. Um, what the fuck happened there? What the fuck? I mean, I'll contact them and see what's up, but I, I've heard their customer service is really good, so hopefully we'll get that taken care of. But this is what the, the Cartman, or um, not Cartman, the South Park pins are supposed to look like. They look good. They look cool. Um, I think the artist did a good job. We'll like to have one, and hopefully I will. Um, then there's the uh, piece of art that we saw of Homer Simpson. No TV, no beer, make Homer go crazy, and we all know crazy people are more fun. Featuring the art of black ink, this metal sign is ready to, to display to show off your crazy side. Um, yep, so it's just the sign. We already saw that. Okay. The, the, this, the, the Jessica Rabbit thing. So it's Kristen Lene. Oh, she's a cosplayer. Okay, so she does cosplay. Okay, that's cool. I like people who do cosplay. I think it's very, um, very creative, very imaginative, and I don't think I could do as well as a lot of people who do it do. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, it's a little odd though for this box, I will say, because it's not very adult cartoon. I mean, it's tied into a cartoon and it's adult, but it's not an adult cartoon really, because it's a cosplay person. I don't know, kind of. Weird. Um, so, do, 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 do. nothing really special about that. It's just signed by Kristen Lene, who's a cosplayer, and she's dressed up as Jessica Rabbit, as we saw. Then you have the Betty Boop uh, one, and you could have gotten like a special version that's like just the sketch down here that's not like colored in. So, just a little different. Um, Oh, and then there were there were two different versions of the art print. The one that I got that was, uh, you know, Beavis and Butthead or Rick, with Rick and Morty. Um, the other one you could have gotten was, like, a really weird one for Bob's Burgers. And um, I'm actually glad that I got the Beavis and Butthead and Rick and Morty one because I like that a lot more. Plus, it's more of, like, what I like. Um, Beavis and Butthead one is by Casey Day. Um, but there you can see the picture of what the Bob's Burgers one looked like. Yeah, so cool. Uh, and then they randomly inserted some f uh, photos signed by John DiMaggio, who is the guy who does the voice of Bender on Futurama. So that's cool. Uh, we did not get one of those, obviously. And then they are doing like a special giveaway they're talking about. And that's it. Okay, so um, I got to contact them about that pin. Really, really bummed I didn't get my pin. Um, that sucks. But the other items are cool. Um, I was just looking down there because I'm like, maybe, did I miss where the pin is? Did I miss it? And I definitely, definitely did not miss the pin. 
the pin was not there. Which really, really sucks ass. But uh, I quite like this art print. That art print is very nice. This is, I mean, it's not, it, I'm not all that down with it. It's okay. Um, I'm not huge into The Simpsons, but I like the style of that. That's cool. Uh, the Betty Boop, I'm sure someone liked it. I don't really care that much. So um, not the best box for me personally. It, it would be a little bit better if I had the pin, but um, you win some, you lose some type thing, and I'm willing to stick with the box because I know it's kind of going to be like that. They're not always going to hit home runs for each individual person, and that's what it was. This is kind of more of a wah-wah for me, um, but whatever. There, there's something decent out of it. So Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out, um, and as I said before, just a reminder, Legends is for December, and then January, they're going to do their, their one-year box, which I'm assuming will be really, really cool, but I don't know, we'll see. So uh, anyway, please stay tuned, check out some of my other videos, and uh, if you want to correspond with me at all, send me an email to brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com, and brutal is spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L. Anyway, thank you so much, and... Keep it brutal. That's what I need to say.